Climate change is a global problem, but the building industry is a local industry. It is responsible for around 30% of the uh, greenhouse gas uh, emissions. But those emissions are dispersed, so it's very hard to really reduce greenhouse gas emissions overall unless you have got an organisation which can organise the building sector. And in the building sector there really wasn't an institution that could really focus both globally and locally, hence the creation of the Global Buildings Performance Network. So ClimateWorks set up this institution from scratch. We're the building sector best practice network. The idea of the best practice networks is to source the best policies that are proven to work from around the world and learn from those and apply them to the local context. The main objectives of the Global Buildings Performance Network are to achieve the savings potential from the building sector through energy efficiency. The building sector presents very, very good opportunities for making savings. The best that we could do is a curve which starts at 2005 and drops down 30% by 2050. In that scenario, we just call it the deep scenario, is the scenario that we are promoting. And using the GBPN structure, we can take today's state of the art and making it standard by 2020. This is the only really sustainable uh, scenario which would uh, bring us close to climate targets of uh, reducing the climate change to two degrees in, in 2050. China, India, Europe and the US are very important when it comes to energy use in buildings. Those four regions are uh, collectively responsible for about 65% of total energy consumed in the building sector. For that purpose we have set up hubs. We have the greatest opportunity to reduce greenhouse gas emissions if we focus on those regions. In US and Europe, the major emphasis is on existing buildings. In India, the situation is almost reverse. So the emphasis is on new construction more than existing building. China is undergoing an unprecedented pace of development. Buildings are built in a very intense kind of uh, context. By having hubs in different uh, parts of the world, uh, the GBPN will be able to collect data for their analysis and the goal is to have uh, the best data in the world and to share them. In a scientifically validated way, that's the, going to be the key, so that there is a standard that is being maintained. We take knowledge from one region and bring it uh, to another region, trying to help establishing good practices or best practice uh, policies everywhere. We need to reach policy makers, but we also need to reach business decision makers. It's a convening organization, so it has the, the potential of bringing together many different network actors and participants in the space of energy efficiency. If you invest in energy efficiency and reducing greenhouse gas emissions from the building sector, it's a win-win situation. If I had one wish for the GDPN network, it would be that it, it could effectively bring together developers of buildings, the investors of buildings, the designers of buildings, the policy makers of buildings in such a way as we can change their mindsets. We don't have time to waste. Buildings are built to last. We need to make sure that the buildings that are built today are the most efficient. And that's the role for the GBPN. And we as an organization with regional representation are very well placed to be a, an effective agent of change in this space.